In this video, I want to show you the difference between sliding friction and rolling friction. So for sliding friction, I'm going to set this book on the top of this can and I'm going to spin the book and I want you to listen to the noise it makes. So I can kind of hear the book rubbing against the can. Now, if you could spin the book fast enough, it would actually burn a hole in the book. The can would burn a hole in the book because of friction. So sliding friction like this, sliding friction is not a very good type of friction. It creates a lot of wear, okay? Another example of sliding friction is if you rub your hands together, okay? If you rub your hands together really fast, you build up heat because that's what friction does. And if you could build up enough heat, it would actually catch on fire. So here's a little trick. It's kind of gross um, or weird, but you could do it with water. But if you lick your hand, just do one lick on your hand and then rub your hands together really fast, you can actually create more friction that way. And then if you smell your hand, it actually kind of smells like it's burning. So that's sliding friction. Sliding friction is a really bad type of friction that causes things to wear out really fast. What I did now is I took a bunch of glass marbles and I put them on a groove in this can. And um, this is gonna imitate a ball bearing. Okay, well, this is called rolling friction. So now notice the difference when I set the book on now and I spin the book. Okay, it's a lot quieter, it spins a lot faster and smoother, and this is called rolling friction. So see that, really nice. And what this imitates is actually a ball bearing. So this is a ball bearing for a motorcycle wheel, and what you can't see is there is a bunch of steel balls inside of here with some grease, and it allows this inside and outside to spin very smoothly. So ball bearings are in most things that have wheels like cars, motorcycles, even skateboards, scooters. So all those things have uh, this and this, this uh, is rolling friction and rolling friction is greatly reduced. There's a much less chance of, of excess heat, okay? But sometimes, these bearings do fail, and when they fail, it's bad. A lot of smoke, a lot of destruction, So, um, but that's kind of rare. So that's ball bearings. And one more way I can turn sliding friction into rolling friction is just take two round pencils right here, and if I put them here, put them under the book, the book should roll a lot smoother than it slides. And you can see that it does. It rolls nice and smooth. That's called rolling friction.